We had something very special. Where's your brother? Fuck you! Give me one good reason I should tell you anything. Serial killer. Oh, oh my. A serial killer? Oh god, and it's one of us. Oh. Wait. The woodsman's still walking the streets. We've got to put a lid on this. If you can't manage it, I'll find someone who can. Oh. I found out where she's been staying. I know she's here. You must have seen her. What are the two of you hiding? Thanks for not saying anything. Doesn't matter. Maybe you just want to punish someone. We can arrange that. Uh, what did you do? Friend on friend. At the end of the end. Jeez. What is this? Jesus Christ, baby. Is that you? Ooh. Okay, let's keep going. It's like a preview for the next episode, okay. Did you give Faith the money? I did give Faith the money. You didn't tell base the truth about beauty. I did say I did it, did you said to go first? Bluebeard. My god! Oh, let's go on to the next episode. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What is up guys? It is 63Z here and I'm back here again right after that first episode. I'm going to be making these episodes about 20 minutes long each so it's more con easily consumable. Uh, maybe even to the point where I like Mr. hit Toad. those like, special checkpoints. But we're in episode 2 after not only Faith but Snow White both had their fucking heads chopped. Do something, Big B. I Before did something, Toad. up the place. And oh my god, it was oh the end of the episode just went like oh my god I was I was like what the fuck Whoa 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 hey hey You've got something on your face Fuck are you talking about you stupid cunt <laughs> You're not as bad as everyone says you are Please Big B Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me Look whatever it is it's between you and Beast I'm staying out of it I am staying it's out of it not what you might be thinking. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Come with me. Poor Snow. No. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. <laughs> no, I'm D. He's dumb. He said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill more and more. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Holly, you're out of paper towels and uh, they're gonna string me up, Bigby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. All right, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl named Fuck, man! This fucking lab dog. Come sniffing around this part of town with the rich fucks and the woodlands need a shake down. Isn't that right, Big B? Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Poor Snow White. The annoying thing is there was nothing you could actually do to stop her death. It's physically a part of the game. 
So if you're one of those people that got attached to her at the very start, then you're fucked. And was that me? Yeah. She was cool. Would have been worse if they killed her off at the end of this episode or next episode. Well, I guess I know it's not Snow White that's to blame now, but she's not the serial killer. Mr. Wolf. You're making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'm feeling pretty fucking pissed off right now. If I'm honest, I'd like to smash everything in this room. Is that a threat? Depends on how much you like the furniture. I didn't think that was funny, in case you were waiting for me to laugh. Well, I thought it was funny. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. You I don't know, think I you do. I hate to say it, but I don't think you do. Of course. You're, you're right. I can't imagine what you're going through right now. What is it with you cops? Always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? No, didn't think so. Your nose is bleeding. You missed a spot. Yeah, you just smeared it across your face. You got a tissue or something? De Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah, I know. I, I just said that. Is there something? Do you hear that? Yeah. Please. Please. What did, what did you, you do to her? She'll be fine. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. So they're the real life cops, not the fairy tale cops. Got it. the bailout. Thanks for bailing me out. Certainly. We, um, we found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. 
Well, I don't know why you detained him. D was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him, and he hasn't said anything useful. There's two of them, D and Dunn, and they've been snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't mean they're necessarily involved in the murders. They have something to do with it. They may not have done it, but they have something to do with it. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. No, I never get more. Oh, my God. Now, uh, uh, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Yeah. It's hard. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. <coughs> Did she um, give any indication to what she was thinking when you saw her last, I mean? I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. She could come off as callous sometimes, but she wasn't really. She said that she wanted to change things, make it easier for Fables to get help when they need it. I don't know what else to say, Big B. We have to have to put an end to this. Some, I don't like the mayor. Many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Big B. For Miss White. I got it. He saw his friend head. Decapitated at his doorstep. Do not get mad at him for shutting a door extra hard. Oh my god, my eye. This is so, like, okay, so. Bluebeard's the easy person to blame, but as it said. That's not a very good answer, is it? At the very end, no. choices like to. Just tell me what I you know, want to know. Who everyone chose. Only 5% of people chose Bluebeard. In theory. Oh, were you planning on using that? I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Whatever you say, Ichabod. Hello, Big B. I want answers, D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Big B? I'm glad you have a sense of humor. I hope that means you're willing to cooperate. Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Let him work. He's got more experience with these kinds of things. I know you're up to something. What is it? Well, right now I'm sitting here having a laugh. But... Big picture, I'm planning on buying a new hat. Maybe one with polka dots. All right, D. Let's get to know each other. Come on, Big B. <laughs> Fuck, Big B. Don't make me look at that. Just put that away. Please. 
I don't want to see that. Snow was murdered, D. She was important to me. If you know who did this, you have to tell me. I don't know what to tell you. You're barking up the wrong tree. I don't know who did it. Just tell me what you're up to. Look, Bigby, we're not on opposite sides here. My brother and I are trying to get to the bottom of things. Same as you. Your brother? Where was he last night? I can't say. He could have been anywhere. Take your best guess. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? No, I'm not sending you after my brother. Look, I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. Can we move this along? If you need some assistance, I'd be more than happy to provide some. You just carry this around? Always handy that way. I couldn't hurt, I guess. Look, Big B. This isn't going to work. Don't you want to find out what happened to those girls? To Snow White? <sighs> Let me handle this. So where's your brother? Look, mate, I'd like to help. I would, but I can't tell you where he is. Last time I saw him, we split up, and I went to find Faith. I don't know where he is now, but he didn't kill anybody. Just leave him out of this. You went to find Faith's what? Her apartment. I went to her apartment. That's no secret. You saw me. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. All right, D. What did you want from Faith? Sorry, I can't help you. I'm not saying any more about it. I'm saving that. Here. Yeah, all right. Want to see a trick? Ridiculous! He's never gonna talk if you treat him like a fucking prince! What's next, Bigby? You gonna give him a massage? Offer him a nice steak dinner? Bluebeard? I've already heard your opinion. Back off, Bluebeard. This isn't your job. Get your answers, or I'm taking over. Not gonna happen. Come on, D. What did you want from Faith? Sweet girl like her. Sweet? You think that girl was sweet? She was a fucking thief. Fucking sweet. Faith was plenty of things, but that ain't one of them. I mean, you know what she did for a living, right? She stole from you? Not from me. She stole from my boss. Hell, I ain't got nothing worth taking. Your boss? So let's talk about your boss, then. You're gonna get me in trouble, Big B. I can't answer any more of your questions. Just let me go, all right? I feel like I'm good you at this interrogation. You this much cash. I've got a lot of laundry to do this week. What's it to you? Why don't you just tell me who you're working for? Look, you're not a bad guy, despite what beauty says about you. At least you're not a total bastard anyway. But I just can't give you that information. There's no way Beauty would associate with a scumbag like you. What's wrong with me? You're telling me I ain't pretty enough? Yeah, we're real close. I thought this was supposed to be a murder investigation, but you're treating this guy like a fucking house guest, Bluebeard! 
and not getting any answers from him this way. Snow White is dead. One of us. And you're going to let this ignorant shit walk out of here in one piece. Out of my way. I'll show you how it's done. Uh, what the fuck? What do you think you're doing? Teaching him a lesson. Now pay attention. Stop this right now! You enjoying yourself? Immensely. Yeah. 